Hello and welcome to the Political Machine 2016. This is a game where I am going to run for President of the United States. Uh, so it's going to have all the uh, 2016 uh, people to choose from. Uh, so uh, let's click New Game. <clears throat> so we'll go Game Length Epic, so 52 weeks. Uh, certain funds, 100%. Difficulty, easy. We'll start off with easy since it's the first time playing. Advanced, randomized values. State population, state of state. Well, we'll leave those alone for now. All right. Uh, so, yeah, great. So, yeah, as you can see, we've got Donald Trump. We've got Elizabeth Warren, who's a Democrat, apparently. Uh, we've got Hillary Clinton. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, oh, it's an alphabetical order. There we go. So, we've got Al Franken. We got Al Gore, Ben Carson, Bernie Sanders, Bill Clinton, Carly Fiorina, Donald Trump, Elizabeth Warren, Hillary Clinton, Jed Brush, Jim Webb, Joe Biden, Lincoln Chaffee, Mario Rubio, Martin O'Malley, Mike Huckabee, Rand Paul. Ted Cruz. So, I think uh, for our first playthrough, we're going to have to go as Donald Trump. Um, so, before I start getting into the character and into the game, I would just like to say that uh, the views expressed here are not views that are supported by my channel. Uh, I'll be playing the character of Donald Trump as I've seen him so far in the news, uh, which is extremely racist close-minded, and just overall kind of crazy. Um, and those those are not qualities that I myself have. Uh, this is all just, you know, uh, for the funsies. <laughs> so with Donald Trump, we've got uh, stamina, uh, seven. This determines how many stamina points a candidate has, alone for more actions per turn. Uh, money, we've got full because he's crazy rich. Fundraising ability, uh, how much money you can bring for to your campaign that other people make for you. Charisma, uh, speeches and ads. Appearance, increases the effective of interview experience. Appearances, bleh. His credibility, uh, not that great. His experience, you know, so-so. And the intelligence is so-so. Uh, media bias, uh, not so great. Minority appeal. <laughs> not good at all. And religious. Alright. So, let's go. <clears throat> and, uh, well, Hillary Clinton and, uh, the one that I'm using, uh, there are the two big names for the selections. So what's running is Hillary Clinton. And we'll see if we can take her on with Donald Trump. Bah, 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 just look at these eyes. Alright, win the states, win the election. Up for grabs, leaning your way, and certain victory. Travel to states and make them red to win their votes. Alright, seems easy enough. Then right click on a state to move there. Now take action in the state. Alright, let's see what we can do. Raise your awareness in each state, no awareness, no votes. Match your stance on issues to win like minded voters. Great ad, good speech, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. So, looks like we've already got a pretty good reddish area here. So, New York um, is apparently voting 51% for a donkey? Are we the donkey? Wait, Donald Trump? Oh, yeah, we're on New York. And I, I don't actually know what these, what these stats mean. 12% of voters in New York are undecided. Hillary Clinton is currently winning in New York with 51%, and we have 37%. All right, there we go. All right, so let's vote our HQ. You need these houses to win. Build structures to give you bonuses each year. Okay. So uh, let's build it in New York. Upgrade. Oh, wow. We've, we've got a ton of money. Yeah. So we've upgraded... And we settled in New York. All right. 
let's uh, let's do let's uh, let's give a speech. Um, okay. Let's uh, let's talk about fighting ISIS. I favor, <clears throat> and we'll say that. Okay, okay, I can only choose one of these. All right, so I favor this. So let's give the speech. See how that goes. So I'm not sure what just happened. Oh, we went up by three percent there. All right. Now, can we do anything else here? No, we can't. I think we can only do one thing per area. So, uh, let's go here. Um, all right. Done. I kind of I want you to move there. Oh, there we go. I was using the wrong click. <clears throat> Uh, actually, it doesn't look like we knew anything else. We must. Ah, oh, we ran out of stamina. Okay. So yeah, let's go back here, and we'll end our turn. Hillary Clinton is flying over all the way to here, where she's already popular. She's voter HQ, and now she's going over here and voting another HQ, and now. She's flown over here and apparently created a brand new state. There is a political opportunity in California. Travel there before your opponent notices it. Uh, which one is California? She's doing like a ton of stuff. All right. Uh, this is Colorado, New Mexico, Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, Arizona, Wyoming, Montana, er, California. Oh, okay, it's all the way over here. So let's fly over there. <clears throat> and let's see. Now, what is the opportunity that is over here? So, uh, so I guess these are the issues here that they want to address, which is. So let's let's give a speech. Um, securing the borders, which is something. Uh, and Donald Trump will secure the border. Uh, so I'm assuming the speech will go something like this: My fellow Americans, we are going to close our borders to anyone in need, because that's the American way. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much how it, how it goes. Uh, so let's give the speech. See how that goes. Bam! Plus 2%. Oh. Alright. Um, now can we do anything else here? Uh, we can create ads. Uh, let's try and create an ad. Uh, <clears throat> now, I don't actually know if Donald Trump would want to legalize marijuana. But they change one, no national bonus, plus one percent change per week. Okay. So let's say we'll go with opponent opposes. The initial expense is fifty thousand and it costs three thousand per week. So we've got mudslinger achievement. There we go. Now we're out of stamina, so let's end our turn, and we'll see what Miss Hillary Clinton does to oppose us. She's flown all the way back. Uh, she's doing some stuff there. She's doing some stuff there. <coughs> she's doing some stuff over here. And yammering on like a silly person. All right, so I think it's our turn now. Uh, let's build a HQ here. Um, so we can build a campaign headquarters, a consultant office, or an outreach center. Let's do a consultant office. Generates political capital used to hire operatives. Operatives are the key to one of the battleground states. All right, build a consultant office there. Now, uh, let's do, let's give a speech. Um... 
So they want us to do one addressing climate change. Now uh, we'll, we'll do another opponent opposes climate change. Or opponent opposing addresses addressing climate change. So uh, I guess it would, go, it would go something like this. <coughs> My fellow Americans, Hillary Clinton uh, does not think that the um, climate is in bad condition and would like to see the world planet die, I guess. Yeah. Um, all right, let's give the speech. So we've got plus 2%. Uh, and it doesn't seem to have lowered hers by very much at all. Their consultant office and speeches have earned enough political capital to hire an operative. Hire an operative. Click special interest to cash in your points. Okay. Um, oh, operatives. I see the I see the cue for that now. She's flying around, doing a bunch of stuff. She's running a lot of HQs. I suppose she has a lot of money to do this. I mean, we do too, but... Let's go look at operatives. Fixer. Rumors have surfaced that a fixer has put support for President Trump Donald Trump. Fixer has been known to use his own brand of constructive persuasion on individuals who act out against his political friend. Let's hope Donald Trump can keep this powerful new comrade out of trouble. Okay. We have consultant. A professional in every sense of the word. A consultant has the brains, experience, and connections to get the name Donald Trump out on the streets. Her presence in the state will result in a weekly plus 4% of can candidates' awareness. Ah, nice. nice. Speechwriter. I think we're going to go with a consultant first. Hire operative. So it costs 5. Do Can we, can we hire it? So I think, I, I think we hired it. Uh, maybe? Alright. Um, let's, let's give a speech. Um, let's see, uh, let's do, um, gun rights. Everyone in the States likes guns. So does Donald Trump. Bam. <clears throat> All right, so we're at 47%. So we've surpassed Hillary Clinton. There's a political opportunity in Georgia. Travel there before your opponent notices. All right, so Georgia. Purple states indicate a close race where candidates have high awareness. It's a battleground state. Ah, oh, because it's purple now. All right, so where is Georgia? So that's Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Georgia. Georgia's right here. All right, so let's fly over to Georgia. <clears throat> oh, she's dropping operators all over the place now, is she? Now... How do I take advantage of this special thing? So they want fighting ISIS, resettlement of the refugees. Well, we can't do anything on that because Donald Trump hates refugees. He prefers to see people, you know, being bombed and killed uh, than to give these poor people somewhere safe to live. Um, so I guess we can do a speech about fight or an ad about uh, fighting ISIS. Create the ad. Bam. So, we just created the ad there, which should bring better awareness. Uh, let's build some kind of an office here. A outreach center. Uh, generates PR clout. Use to secure vital special interest endorsements. Upgrade them quickly to get multiple endorsements. Alright, let's build that. Alright, let's just enter turn. Bam. <clears throat> Working news wrap up. This week's headline New HQ Hillary Clinton. Hollywood friend Hillary Clinton. New HQ Hillary Clinton. GA advertisement on fighting ISIS and new HQ for Donald Trump. Alright, the Environmentalist Club. Hillary Clinton has won the endorsement of the Environmentalist Club. The Environmentalist Club is an organization dedicated to protecting the environment. They support laws that limit pollution and protect the environment. Oh, lame. All right. <clears throat> so, 
So let's, uh, okay, let's upgrade. Bam, our outreach center. And uh, let's, uh, let's give a speech. Um, for fuel Obamacare. Uh, student loan reform. Higher minimum wage. People like money. Ah, look at that. We won over Georgia. Good job, uh, Mr. Trump. Your wig has done it all. So, one to turn. See what Miss Clinton's off to do. Man, she's just been, like, dropping her headquarters everywhere. Oh, all right. Um, I guess we should head back here. Fly over here. Because this is so underneath her control. Um, can we form their operative? Uh, fashion consultant. Advertisement guru. Spin doctor. Smear merchant. Intimidator. And a PR consultant. Interviews become more effective. Let's 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 get a fixer. A fixer upper. Okay, let's upgrade. <coughs> Fully armed and operational is our achievement we just got. Uh, let's create an ad here. Um, what is it these people will find ISIS secured the borders and address on climate change, as I believe. Uh, so yeah, we'll create something about finding ISIS and opponent opposes. Uh, oh yeah, because we like to smear people. All right, um, let's do some fundraising while we're here. Raise funds. Oh, nice. Did pretty good with raising funds. Considering it's like run by Hillary Clinton. West Virginia. All right. I don't even know where West Virginia is. Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, Missouri, Iowa, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, South Carolina, West Virginia. We founded it. <clears throat> When he's not making documents or writing books, National Cook will now be assisting in helping the populace make better decisions. Will this help the Donald Trump campaign or the exact opposite? Whatever the outcome, Cook is going to stir things up in the state that he's in. Modifies your political score on all issues by minus 11% in the states. Or in that target state. Okay, so that didn't sound like a great one. <laughs> um... Okay, let's build an HQ here. Let's uh, let's build a campaign headquarters. And they're they're all about the coal mining. Hold a rally to give a quick boost here awareness. Um, coal mining, I favor. Give speech, and we've won them over. They love us over there now. All right, let's end the turn. Hire an operative. Oh, nice. You can go get another operative. Sounds excellent. So she's just flying around, doing a bunch of stuff. Oh, all right. So let's plop over here. Going to grab an operative. Uh, intimidator. Lowers opponent's awareness by 4% per week in the state. Yeah, let's grab that. So they're about... Uh, Supporting gay marriage, fighting ISIS, and secure the borders. Um, can't do the supporting gay marriage, because Donald Trump wouldn't really support something like that. <laughs> um, so let's create an ad um, about securing the borders, and we're going to say Hillary Clinton is against that. So create the ad, bam. Now we're going to give a speech about fighting ISIS. Bam. We got plus 3% and endorsements. Huh, interesting. All right, let's end the turn. You have the opportunity to be interviewed on 60 seconds. Travel to Utah to accept. All right. Is this Utah? 
No, it's Illinois. Ohio? Indiana? Is this Utah? Utah! Utah! Let's go over here and do an interview. <clears throat> Alright. Yes. Tonight, we have an in-depth report on the latest fear sweeping America. Trees. Every year, hundreds of people are killed in tree-related accidents. Are those leafy green jetto giants? Oh, the situation in Syria and the Middle East has resulted in a flood of rich refugees fleeing the Europe. Threatened countries' capacity to absorb them. What should we do about this, if anything? Uh, well, <clears throat> situation... Oh, okay, yeah. Um... We should tackle the problem at the source. This crisis has been caused by our weak administration, letting the situation in Syria fester without tension. Military action can halt the conflict, which will end the refugee flow. Let's show some spying on the world stage. <laughs> uh, Alright, yeah. Military action. The Keystone XL pipeline has run into repeated roadblocks. As president, would you work to clear these roadblocks or stop the pipeline entirely? Um, replace it with a water slide? <laughs> As it is filled with gross oil. So what you do is you fill it with water and make a 2,000 mile water slide. It'll be great. You throw your kids in there and pick them up a couple weeks later in Louisiana. <laughs> it's hilarious! <laughs> um, alright. We're going to say Trump supports the Keystone. <clears throat> That's it for tonight. Tune in next week for a special one-hour report on insect infestations in American households. Are these cockroaches a nuisance? And he... I can read the rest. Uh, next. Voters pleased with showing on 60 seconds. Yay, we did well. Good job. Mr. Trump. Alright, let's fly over here. <clears throat> let's upgrade our building. We've got a consultant office there. And let's end our turn. Alright, so this week's headlines. Campaign speech. Gun rights. Campaign speech. War on drugs. Interview in six seconds. Donald Trump. HQ upgrade. Donald Trump. Yeah. Alright, so we'll probably do one more week. And then we will... Actually, let's have a quick look at the polls. Um, I don't actually know how to read this. Um, oh, wait. Um, electoral votes. We got 268. She's got 270. So we're trailing a little bit, but not by much. All right. Let's see. Can we do an endorsement? Um, let's see now. Yeah. Donald Trump has won the endorsement of the National Gun Owners Association. So basically, yeah. The, uh... I'm pretty sure Donald Trump would be all about the guns. Select the fixer, then right-click the opposing operative to eliminate them. <laughs> that should be interesting. Raise your awareness by 4% in the week. Heckler withdraws from electoral campaign. Ah, oh, what a shame. All right, let's uh, let's give a speech. Um, yeah, let's give this speech here. <clears throat> there we go. We've won over that state. We're winning by a whole 52% there. All right, now we should fly back over here, because this is purple. We should go deal with this area here. Let's give a speech. Um, what are they about? Fighting ISIS and securing the borders, and I can't see what the top one is. So let's give a speech about fighting ISIS. Give a speech. Gave us 2% there. So it's still a pretty close battle, but we're gonna, we're gonna win. There's a photo opportunity in Maryland. Troy Crenton has won the endorsement from the National Women's Association for Women. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Your opponent has more endorsements than you. Endorsements give a big national-wide... Okay. So we just need more endorsements. Alright. I actually know where Maryland is. Um, Maryland. Yes. Hello, Brandy. Uh, Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. 
Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. Do we already have Maryland? I, I don't know where it is. This California, Oregon, Washington, Nevada, Alaska, Hawaii, Texas, Louisiana. All right. Oh, wait. Maryland's right over here. Smile for the camera. Harder, prettier. Amelia Darlin has sided with Donald Trump in this election. Ah, oh, nice. That is a pretty good opportunity. All right, let's build a HQ here. Uh, we'll build an outreach center. Endorsements. Uh, let's see if we can get the Christian Confederation. Donald Trump has won the endorsement of the Christian Confederation. There we go. And now we're going to want to give a speech about, I guess, find ISIS again. Because we can't give a speech about Black Lives Matter because Donald Trump doesn't like black people. Um, so yeah, find ISIS. Um, give speech. Plus 3% there. And we'll end her turn. Alright, she's flying around doing stuff. Trying to win votes in places. Uh, let's see, what does Trump want to do? We'll try and win over this area here. We'll upgrade it. Bam. Upgraded. There. Uh, I guess all we can do is uh, give speeches about fighting ISIS because. I'm pretty sure he'd be against supporting gay marriage. Uh, so we'll end our turn. You have the opportunity to be interviewed by 60 seconds. Travel to West Virginia to accept. President candidate lead Trump blah, takes an early lead. Good job. So, oh wait, where was I supposed to go for the interview? Right here? Yes. Alright, let's see if we can do this again. Next. Alright, now on Switch Report on the dangers of the internet. Are you one in a million of Americans who take to arguing on messages boards too seriously? I'm Leslie Danger. We'll have that story and more tonight on 6 Seconds. American farmers continue to have a hard time making ends meet. Do you feel that farm subsidies are a viable solution to their plight? Um, I'm against farms. Once I had a bad experience on a farm. <laughs> oh my. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's get the farmers on our side. I support farm subsidies. Oh, the United States spends vast amounts of money on its military. We continue to afford this. Uh, okay, they didn't like that. We need a strong military. That's it for tonight. Tune in next time for a special report. One hour report on insect infant stations. Okay. That's the same one last time. Okay, so we got a strong showing. Win in, wins independence. Nice. Alright, that's not too shabby. Alright, so let's go here, I guess. Let's go to campaign headquarters. Uh, they want to find ISIS. Uh, they don't want to secure the borders, from what I can see. And they want to resettle the refugees. So let's let's do another speech on fighting ISIS. Give the speech. All right, we've won them over. Excellent. And we can afford another operative here. Um, media bias. Ten percent. Ten points. Interviews become more effective. All right. We've hired a PR consultant there. There's political opportunity. Ah. In Connecticut, ouch. Uh, there's lots of noises outside, um, and the dogs are just like, oh my god. Alright, there we go. An old money man has stepped up to support Donald Trump, helping in the presidential, hopefully, contact with his rich, wealthy pals in whichever state he's posted in. Raises your fundraising potential in the state by 25%. Nice. All right, well, let's build a campaign headquarters there, then. 
we've already got an operative there. So let's go endorsements. Uh, U.S. Chamber of Business. Bam! We've won them over. Now, they're all about... They're indifferent on finding ISIS, from what I can see. Uh, they want to resettle the refugees, and they don't want to secure the borders. So let's make them want to fight ISIS. Give speech about fighting ISIS. We gain 2% there, and bam, we're in the business. Uh, advertisement guru. Um, spin doctor. Oh, there we go. Spin doctor. Bam. <clears throat> We've hired an operative. This week's headlines. She gave a campaign speech. She gave a campaign speech. We got the money man. We got the new HQ. Endorsements, campaign speech, and a spin doctor. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. Uh, so yeah. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, tune in next time for uh, more Donald Trump madness. Thank you. Goodbye.